Good afternoon, welcome to this bank holiday special, Trolley TV. So for the lakes, you quite literally walk all the way around and just a full circle all the way back. It's quite, quite a nice walk, it's not too long. A couple of nice little features along the way. See for me, this is home. I find it very peaceful, very nice to unwind. Great place to unwind. Um, I used to work sort of. Uh, hard to show on the camera but I used to have to walk around here to get to and from work every day and uh, tell you now that was a nice nice little perk in itself that I don't know how uh, this is going to come out with the sun on the camera <laughs> so that's why I keep moving about a bit I think that'll be alright so like, yeah I'll be alright it's a beautiful day here though proper summer's day bank holiday Monday anyway I'm going to go for a little walk around and I'll show you a couple of extra bits along the way. When you get to this stage, you can even continue to walk all the way around, or you can take a little shortcut and walk this way. But as there seems to be people over that way, I will choose to walk around this way. They recently done all this footpath, so it's nice and smooth. It's good for um, people who like to ride on their bikes and runners and so forth. It's become ever more popular over the last few months. Well, last year. Since lockdown was a thing, people couldn't go anywhere. You know? I think since uh, coronavirus, what's it been, 18 months, two years, or whatever it's been, quite a while, for local community here in Andover, you've had places like this, which is just absolutely glorious, being um, one of the sort of hot spots for people to go out for little walks, you know, because as our uh, Prime Minister and the government said that really, exercise was fine, walking and so forth, like once a day or whatever, it was um, having this on my doorstep and walking around this every single day to get to and from work, which is one of the main perks. Um, I've seen multiple people uh, come around here and it just got more popular and busier and busier and busier to the point where the council have completely redone the surface. Um, it's much better not just for walking, but for cycling and runners and so forth like that. But it's, it's such a lovely place, very peaceful. And um, I'm very lucky to have that on my doorstep. Incredible, really. But yeah, I find this to be like the perfect place to unwind. Because I live an insane lifestyle. <laughs> a lifestyle that's probably a bit uh, out of balance, I would say. I often, well, before COVID, I would often always be out. I would work, go out. Not on like a night out, but very social. Um, I'm almost always playing pool, seeing friends, family, watching football, you know, music, all things like that. I was just out all the time. And uh, that can be very draining. And a way for me to unwind and relax was doing stuff like this, just coming out for casual walks. And uh, to see that so many people come down here and and now experiencing the same sort of thing, unwinding and enjoying this little beautiful part of Andover that um, is literally on everyone's doorsteps around here. It's great, it's really good, I love it. Very underrated, that's my opinion anyway. But yeah, quality place.
I also just thought this place is obviously really, really good for fishing. You get ahead of a lot of people coming down there with their fishing equipment. Just something I spotted. Totally forgot about that. <laughs> but about to walk over to one of my favourite benches. Be so much easier with a GoPro right now. <laughs> And the reason for that is quite honestly because even though there's some trees falling down right now it's not the ideal thing but there you go nice little view I like to sit here <sighs> sit here with some music on and just look at that and chill great vibe that's what I look at really just chill out. Obviously it's quite a nice company. But if you ever need some alone time, this is one of the ideal spots to come to. In my opinion, it's really, really nice. See now this is where I used to walk all the time, back and forth, to and from work. Now, I'm not being funny, <laughs> but if you're going to have a a way to get to work via walking, this is a pretty good one. I mean, it's a nice and smooth walk. In the summer, it's beautiful. That's one reason I wanted to show this to you today. Look at that, got a cloud in the sky. I think as I've grown older a little bit, from my mid-twenties to where I am now, I've started to appreciate things a lot more. And um, having gone up Ben Nevis in 2018, 2019, coming which year it was, I mean, that was my first um, sort of little adventure I went on with my dad and my brother. We decided to go uh, to Fort William in the Highlands in Scotland uh, to climb Ben Nevis. Not just to climb Ben Nevis, to see other things around that area, because it's a beautiful place to visit anyway. But uh, Ben Nevis was like high on the list. <laughs> no joke. No pun intended there. <laughs> but uh, while going up that mountain, I realised very quickly um, my appreciation for uh, the planet and uh, the amazing things that we have around us, the beauty, because there were certain moments where I could quite literally just sit down, look up, wouldn't need to say a word, and just admire. And I think the people who have highlighted that more than anyone else. It's actually Sir David Attenborough, uh, people like him. Um, his whole life's been an adventure. He, I can only imagine the stories and the things that he's seen in the places he's been to. And um, it's good that there are different um, regulations that are coming into play now and in, in, throughout the globe to um, try and help protect the planet but there's so much more we can do um, when I'm walking around somewhere like this place uh, at the lakes um, when I see all the trees and I hear the birds chirping and people enjoying themselves and just pure natural beauty that right there is what actually makes me more happy than anything else I would choose that over anything um, it to have in my life just to have people feel like um, they could enjoy a lovely walk with great company 
for the mental health, for the physical health, they can go running. You can do whatever you want, can't you, when you go for walking. The world's your oyster. But to be able to go on an adventure and to uh, see beautiful parts of the world, that's something that I've wanted to do. Something that I haven't done and that I aspire to one day hopefully do. I don't know when the time will be, uh, the places that I'll go to, but what I do know it would be places that are not necessarily popular, they're just going to be places that I think will have great, let's take the um, going to Switzerland, now my old man is a little thing, so he's apparently, well he keeps a journal of all the places that he's been um, on holiday and things like that and in there he's got over 30 different countries that he's travelled to and I asked him once where his first, not his first, where his favourite place uh, that he travelled to was and he said Switzerland. He went up the Alps and uh, there, there's more to that. It kind of uh, goes on from that place to another place that he went because of going to Switzerland and then it rolled on to another place he went to. Uh, but that's a whole other story for another time. But when I asked him why, he said it was because he's never seen anything like it before. Um, so that's somewhere I want to go and visit as well, you know. Uh, that's high up on my list. And there's other places around the globe, like the Blue Mountains and uh, Australia. I wouldn't mind doing uh, going to like the Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, Carnival, something like that. Different places around the globe. But um, I think there's an adventurer, adventurer within all of us. That goes about saying. Yeah. Anyway, just thought I'll uh, put my little thing out there and just continue to walk. Now this is off track a little bit. This isn't actually walking around the lakes. So I've decided to take a little bit of a detour to come off the main part because you can curve right back it, curve right back around here. As there's another house in the state just to the left over there, and they walk down to the lakes this way. That's why I decided to come down this route. I will start recording them, just for this bit, because I know there'll be a lot of kids about, and obviously I don't want to be recording kids, so I'll see you in a bit. There we go, got past the madness of all the children. <laughs> Where I'm walking to now, this bit behind me is actually where I live, just up there, and uh, it's where I used to walk down to go to work all the time. So I'm going to do a complete U-turn and go back on myself from where I first started. It does actually stretch out the lakes by the way. You can go, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, all the way back there. Goes on and on and on. It's a good walk. If I had to put a time on how long it takes, well, I'd say it's about 40 minutes, 30 minutes, something like that. So it's good for a bit of exercise. So for all of you out there who see this, and don't come down the lake so often, get yourself down there. Half an hour, 45 minutes. Nice casual walk when it's warm. Get your shades on like I've got a bit of music or if you've got a partner or whoever you want to be with, you know, share the moment. You definitely won't regret it. I can promise you that. Yeah, look at this. Trees. Shot Cora, there's trees. No way. <laughs> I didn't actually know there's a tree right in the middle. I've never been up here. Let's go up here. It's probably not a place. See? Let's see what's what. The thing is, I've only got some shorts on right now, so be careful that I don't stung by anything. I'm not sure if it's supposed to come up here. Yeah. That wasn't 
I do. <laughs> Alright, back down we go. <laughs> Ah, there we go, right around the other side. <laughs> Literally right around the other side now, I'll show you. So my house is stay up there, that's where I live. And that, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, concludes my little tour around the beautiful Anton Lakes. Yeah, it's a phenomenal place to have. So many people walking around taking pictures, glasses on, headphones on, sat down on the benches, smiles on everyone's faces. That's the vibe. Isn't it great? So get yourself down here. Enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed this. Trotty TV out.